Hi there, my name is Terry, Solution Engineer here at Arthur. Today I want to give you a quick overview of what Arthur does in about five minutes. So Arthur is a model performance solution that provides proactive always-on monitoring with intelligent alerting across tabular computer vision natural language processing model types. It is agnostic to platform, framework, and deployment strategy, which means it's a single pane of glass to validate and monitor your entire machine learning portfolio, both before and after production, regardless of the use cases. To support that, our infrastructure is built in such a way that it's automatically scalable, so we can handle thousands of models at the same time that's making billions of inferences every day. And of course, with all the models monitored under one roof, you will like automation. And Arthur is an API-first product, so it can be seamlessly integrated into most of the automation processes with minimal effort. And we also provide security features such as role-based access control, separation between organizations, and single sign-on, etc., to satisfy your compliance requirements. Great. So how does Arthur work? Our unique approach centers around three key pillars. That is performance, explainability, and fairness. OK, let's go to the app and see how each of the pillars work. All right, so I just click into a simple tabular model predicting loan default as an example. By the way, Arthur supports version tracking. So we'll go back to an earlier version that has a bit more interesting problems for us to solve. So right off the bat, other than the high-level model stats, we're also proud to provide you insight into the pockets of the population that's underperforming. So you can determine whether you want to avoid those pockets in your business operations, or say, uh, build a supplementary model to look especially after them, or even allocate human resources for manual case reviews, right? So here's a first example of 200 inferences that have this feature having this value. And that for those inferences, their average accuracy is only lower than 40%. And now you can see there are other pockets like this as well. And our app can also take you directly to those inferences if you are interested. All right, so the next tab is model performance. We can see over time, the model accuracy has dropped below 80%. So as part of the investigation, not only we can show you which feature has been drifting since around the time the accuracy started dropping. Um, in this case, it's the purple one, paid zero. We can also show you how important this feature is to the model. So in this chart, it's pretty important as shown on this y-axis and how this feature is drifting as shown on this bar graph. So you will know where to pay more attention to during the model retraining if you choose to do so. So that was the model global level. So on the individual inference level, we can help you visualize how abnormal this inference is, and also how each feature impacts the predicted outcome. We can also provide you the flexibility to test what if scenarios. Say, this feature, what if instead of a two, we had a value of zero? Then how would its impact be different? And how would the outcome be different? So you'll have a better context to either make a decision right then and there, or find a way to work with this individual if there's a good reason to do so. On the left, you can also filter the inferences based on their features, prediction, ground truths, or a combination of them, 
if you're only interested in analyzing a subset of the inferences, say um, only those had false negatives, for example. Okay, finally, bias detection. So here is an example for age discrimination. We can see each section represent a different performance metric. And the bars represent the values for that metric. And then the younger population is used as a benchmark. And the mid-age and senior groups are measured against it. So if any of their performance falls outside of the acceptable range, which is the benchmark plus or minus the threshold, in this case, 17%, and then the bar will be shown as red. And of course, the threshold is the adjustable, depending on the model objective and your tolerance. And here below is a more detailed distribution chart. Cool. So before we close it out, I really want to do a quick flyby to show you how Arthur works with computer vision and natural language processing as well. Here is an example to predict whether this satellite images was taken in France or Russia. And these green areas of the picture are the reason why the model made the prediction that it did. And the red areas suggested against it. Similar idea for this NLP model predicting which topic this medical transcript is about. You see the green words are the reason why the model thinks it is about radiology. And the red words gave the model some second thoughts. You see with author, a somewhat convoluted machine learning logic becomes much more intuitive to explain and review. Nice. All right, so that's about it for now. We just went really quickly over how Arthur can help you validate and monitor model performance, explain feature impacts both on the global and the inference level, and detect fairness violations. Hope you enjoyed it. And of course, this is meant to be a quick overview, so there's still a lot more the Arthur platform has to offer we didn't get a chance to cover. If you'd like to know more about Arthur solutions and how we can help, please visit our website at arthur.ai or simply get in contact Thank you for watching and have a great day.